Hey everyone, welcome to another Monday Morning Stella! All right, I just went to the gym earlier. I was boiling and now Jack and I are freezing. It's like, I don't know what temperature it is at the moment, but it's cold. Um, all right, here we go. I'm going to answer, I'm just going to see whose question it was actually. I'm going to answer, was it on Instagram or Facebook, Jack? Facebook. So, Elkie, I think it was Elkie. Um, sorry, I should have been a bit prepared with that. But, <laughs> yes, Elkie Rems Child, Child, something like that. Elkie. So, let's get into it. Um, she asked, how do you, let's just read it, sorry, <laughs> I should have prepared it earlier, but I didn't. So let's go, Elke, how do you get your energy on point every day? This is an awesome question and I think it's a lifelong quest. So here's my advice for you. Energy is something I've studied for many, many years now and it's probably my number one point of focus. I, I know I talk about it a bit but I'm more focused on energy than I am anything else in my life because everything flows from there. I want you to understand that it's like you're never going to be perfect at it. You can get really good at it, but there's going to be things that will unsettle you. There's going to be things that will make you go bumpy. It's about how you start. And over time, you get better and better and better at it. Because just in the world, when you run through every day, things don't always go right. People are angry with you things happen to you, but the more steady you get, the less that happens. So that's why it's a lifelong quest because over the years, you can actually feel when you start to shift in the other direction and you don't have a firm footing anymore. And then you can slowly bring yourself back or just stop what you're doing and then start again tomorrow. And we'll talk about that thing too. So here's a quick recipe for keeping your energy on point. Um, it's not the same every day understand that. Some days are better than, the, than others. That's just the way that it is. Um, some days, it's all about when you wake up. But before that, it's about how you put yourself to sleep. And what I mean by that is something's happened yesterday and you, or today, whatever. So something's happened and then you're filthy about it. So you're just, it's just tearing you up inside or it's totally got your focus and you go to bed you will probably wake up like that the next day. Not immediately, but your mind will go there straight away when you wake up and then the next day will be the same. That's why it's very important to be emotionally steady constantly because you're just taking it with you, all right? That's why you can be really angry with, about your job and your boss and all this sort of stuff and you, you leave out of frustration and you go get another job and you sort of end up doing the same thing. And relationships are the same. So you might be with like an abusive husband and you're just there and all this sort of stuff and you're in it and it's like yuck and then you go leave and you see the people do this and they go leave and then they end up doing the same thing again because you haven't dealt with the emotional steadiness first and then gone. So let's do it little, really little bit. So this is about how do you keep yourself on point energetically every day. You must go to bed feeling the best you physically can and here's how you well, here's a tip on how to do it. So whatever's happened in the day, just be okay with it. Try and move your mind away from it before you go to bed. Because when you move your mind away from it, you stop giving it momentum and energy. And energy has momentum, it's like a river. So the more you can sort of start just to just put it over there, just, it is what it is and just forget about it as much as you can. And then when you go to bed, start to relax and start to take five or 10 minutes before you actually go to sleep and put yourself in a state of total relaxation. Think about how good the bed feels. Think about how good the sheets feel. Think about how nice the actual climate is. If it's raining, listen to the rain on the roof and just, just be really thankful and nice and easy about where you live. You've got a home and just put yourself into that slow, slow energy moving state. Because when you do that, you go to sleep and your momentum stops. So all of your energy actually stops moving when you go to sleep. And then you, when you wake up, you have the total ability and choice to start directing your energy again. This is how you get it on point. So when I wake up, I don't get out of bed for at least five minutes. 
at least five. Here's something else I want to say about that. And this is why sleep is so important. I wake up naturally before my alarm. It means my energy is ready to go. When you wake up and you're forced to wake up by an alarm, we all do it sometimes. You don't actually choose your waking up. So maybe you're not exactly ready to wake up. Like for instance, I went to bed at 10.30 the other night, so I didn't get up till seven. And I chose to do that and go to the gym instead of waking up at five. So you've got to feel inside and forget what other people say. I sleep, like the rock sleeps three or four hours. Well, that's good for him. I couldn't do that. I'd be like so tired. You might need to sleep nine hours. Jack on the other side of the camera today, he just got to the gym this morning and said he just had the worst night with Will, his kid, like up all night. We all have different circumstances going on. So there is no perfect. There's just a constant commitment to getting it better. So you've got to deal with real life situations like now. So if you've got a baby that's up all the time and up and down and up and you can't actually get any sleep, stuff the gym, <laughs> forget it, forget it. Don't even worry about going to the gym, deal with yourself and try and get yourself emotionally steady. I'm sure your arms can wait for another day. Don't worry about it. Um, because you want to put yourself, if you've got to go to work, you want to try and capture some of those moments to get yourself steady. This is how you do it in the morning. The morning is like this huge pivotal point. So you want to wake up five minutes in bed, just laying there and almost do the same as what you did before you went to sleep. So just enjoy the moment of being in bed. No noise, no world, no nothing, just being there. And you can start to feel your energy slowly start to move. And here's the thing that will determine how quickly it moves, it's your thoughts. So your, you choose your thoughts when you, when you wake up in the morning. Remember, you hit the reset button. So it all stops. You're in control of it. This is why you can control the outcome of your life as well, because you're in control of your thought pattern, your thought momentum. So when you start and try it, you watch next time you get up. If you don't know anything about energy, just listen to what I'm saying and start to feel your way through this thing. Because think about if something, you're angry about something the night before, you had an argument with your partner, which is pretty common, I had an argument with your partner, you go to bed with that argument fresh in your mind, you wake up, you start thinking about it straight away. If you start thinking about it straight away, you are actually setting the course for the day right there. If you wake up angry, you're going to have an angry sort of day. I'm telling you, this is how it works. You can capture the first hour, I reckon most of the time, and control it when you wake up. So let's go back to laying there for five minutes, getting your energy steadily flowing in a soft, easy direction. Then you've got to start channeling your thoughts in the way that you want the day to go. So you've got to be excited about life. You've got to be pumped about the opportunity. Even if you don't love your job, just love that you've got a, something to do. Go and talk to a wealthy person that sold their business and retired and got nothing to do and they are bored out of their mind and they hate life. They've worked all their life. I know, I know a few of these people. They've worked all their life, they're super wealthy, they've got everything that they want, and they're the most unhappy people I have ever seen because they are bored out of their head. You've got a reason to get up. You've got a reason to get your energy flowing and get excited about the people you're gonna meet, the things you're gonna do. So start telling yourself or looking at these opportunities and getting really excited about it. Remember this, as the day starts, the day goes. That's how it is. So if you've got the opportunity or you've got the ability to control the energy in the morning, you're actually going to control the way the day goes. Here's the thing though, all right? There's a couple of things I want to add to this. You've got to just understand the way you feel is talking to you. It's talking to you. That's why I do everything in the morning. I'm a morning person. Jack and I were just walking along the beach here and he was saying how tired he is in the morning and he likes to go to the gym in the afternoon. He feels better about it. I like to go in the morning. You've got to work around what works for you. I get up, I do my five minute thing, I get my mind going, I get pumped about surfing, I go to the surf, I do my thing, I come home, I do a bit of yoga, Shelly yells at me a bit for just doing my thing and not helping her enough, but that's just the way it is. I get that. I'm so focused on getting my energy going. Then I help Shells get the kids ready, do all that sort of stuff. Eat my breakfast, make some calls, sit on the deck, get a few of the important calls out of the way, get ready, and then I'll go to work every day. You know why I do that every day? Because I know my days go pretty good. Like my day, I've got my life to a point where my, most of my days go really, really, really good, really good. 
Like I'm loving it. I'm pumped. I'm just getting started too. So it's, I've trained my mind. I've trained my energy to set the tone in the day by doing the things that are going to make me feel amazing, that are going to be the next step in the future, the next step, the next step, the next step, the next step, and create a whole lot of steadiness. So I literally start the day with a solid foundation of energy and steadiness and ready and pumped and set and strong. That's how I get my energy on point every day. So what happens if things happen? I've got to a stage now where they do bother me, for sure. They, when things don't go the way that you exactly want them to go, they definitely bother me. But I talk myself around them. I don't let them unsteady me so much. There's been a few things over time that really do unsteady me. Like you just, you know, and it, it sticks in your mind. But I'm more determined to stop giving it attention and killing that thing. And you've got to see it like that. You know, on the video games, you get to the end of the, the last stage and you've got this big giant there and you're like, <laughs> and it's like, you're just putting everything into killing it. I don't know if any, anyone's my age, they remember it's like, and then you're like that, there's a kid and you're like, just so like into it and pumped and like trying to kill that thing. That's what it's like. Because when that unsteadiness comes, it's the same as a big giant in a video game. And the more that you keep thinking about it, and being angry about it and being unsteady about it, the bigger it's going to get and the harder it is to get actually going to kill. You've got to look at it this way. If you don't give it any food, any oxygen, any energy, it will starve and it will actually die and it will be out of your existence. And you can give all your attention and energy to the strong, steady awesomeness that's over here. And that's the key to living a life of energy mastery. Here's a quick example before I finish. And this is a real life mum one. I got home last night and Shelly just said, I've had enough of the kids. They have been like this all day. They weren't listening. They were just out of control. Two of them only. They were just the young ones. Out of control. She had had enough. And I'm not the best dad in the world. I'm okay. And I'm not the best husband either. Like, I'm all right. I, well, not even all right. I, if you ask Shelly, she'd probably say I'm like below average. Because I just like try, but I seem to get in the way more than I help. And she'd had enough. So I said, why don't you just go for a walk? Do your thing. I'll take care of the kids. I'll bath the kids. And see how you go. So she went for a quick walk, came back. She just hadn't really, nah, she's too far gone. Had dinner, kids are being okay. And then after that, they just went downhill from there. So Shelly just did a thing, left the kids, put them to bed. They weren't really exactly asleep and she just went to bed. Couldn't do anything else. And that is exactly the thing that you need to do. As a mum, there is no, you don't get any breaks. And it's easy for me to stand here and say, go for a surf, do this, do that. That might not be real in your world because I, I have great support to, that enables me to work, do my thing, I'll come home and I'll help as much as I can. But that might be different in your world. You might be a single mum or you might be a mum with some kids and you're sort of a bit on your own doing your thing and there is no breaks. My advice to you Definitely go to sleep as soon as you can. I know it's great to sit there and watch TV and just be uh, at the end of the day, but sleep is the most powerful thing in your life. The most powerful thing in your life. You must get as much sleep as possible because you won't function properly. In the day, you're going to have glimpses of opportunity to have emotional steadiness and do something that makes you feel centered. You must do this. If you do this over time, life will get better. The kids will grow up a bit more and it, it, will, it will pass, it will change. But at the moment, you've got to grab those moments when you can. And you might need to get up maybe half an hour early, but go to bed a little early if you can. The kid might have a sleep during the day. They might be playing where you can read a magazine. You've got to see it as you've got to capture those glimpses. 
You might not be able to do as much as me to get your emotional or energy steadiness, but your job is to be aware of when you're on track, off track, going off track, and understand what you need to do. It might even be just eating an orange, sitting down for five minutes, eating an orange, and just mentally relaxing and regrouping. If you can do that in the day just quite a few times, just those little things, you will learn the art of emotional steadiness and dealing with the job of being a mum or a single mum or a working mum, whatever it may be. I think motherhood is so hard. That's why I talk about it a bit. It's the hardest job in the world. I'm not amazing at it. I do my best. And I really want to help you deal with you. And if you can do that and hear what I'm saying and learn the sensitivity of energy on, energy off inside, you will become a master at it over time. You will become steady, you will become energetically powerful and life will become better. That's the way that it works. That's the way you stay on point. That's my advice to you today. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward. See you in the next video.